Hey guys, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am finally doing a tutorial that I have been requested to do since before I had this channel, and that is my eyebrows. A lot of you are so kind and always tell me that you love my eyebrows and my eyebrows are on fleek and whatever else compliment you can give my eyebrows. What some of you don't know is this is a huge compliment because I have awful eyebrows. You're gonna see here in a minute that I naturally do not have thick, full, or even semi-shaped eyebrows whatsoever. They're really awful. They grow like this. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they do that. They also grow really high up and really low down. I have plucked eyebrow hairs off of my eyelid, but the ones that are right here are super thin and sparse. And surprisingly, they're a lot better now than they used to be, if you can imagine that. In high school, I had a very unfortunate event, well I guess events because it went on for a very long time, of me plucking my eyebrows so thin that they were like one hair along the whole thing. Oh, it's so bad. A lot of you I'm sure have seen these pictures of me. If you haven't, I'm not gonna post them right here because they're mortifying. So if you care that much to see them, you may go look. They are awful. I really did not look out on the eyebrow lottery. Thank God for makeup. So I have to fill my eyebrows in every day if I want them to look somewhat presentable. I can get away with it if I don't wear any other makeup. However, if I have all my makeup done and no eyebrows, it's very scary, which I didn't really know until I made this video, and you will see in a few seconds how terrifying it is with me having no eyebrows and intense makeup on. I don't want to just show you guys how I fill in my eyebrows. I think it is very important to know how to groom your eyebrows and how to grow your eyebrows if you need to grow them out by not over plucking them. So step one, I'm going to show you guys how to find out the shape of your eyebrow and what it naturally should look like. If you have had an epic failure of over plucking like I have, this tip will be helpful. And then also just how I pluck, cut, groom them. And then I'll show you how I fill them in. If you don't care about the grooming aspect whatsoever and you already got that down, I will put in the description box below the exact time in this video. You can fast forward to me actually filling them in with makeup. Okay, so let's do this. I look so goofy with full makeup on and no eyebrows. <laughs> Where are they? look like Lady Gaga when she whited out her eyebrows. Using a white eyeliner and just a long makeup brush, we're gonna see where the natural shape of the eyebrow should be. I'm gonna take this going on the side of my nose, not out where the crease of my nose is, or they'll be too far out, but right where your nose kind of goes in, and that's where your eyebrow should start. So I'm gonna make lines with my white eyeliner so I can see the shape my eyebrow should be. I'm just gonna follow it from the bottom to the top of my eyebrow, so that's just dependent how thick or thin your eyebrows are or you want them to be. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. This should help get the distance to be the same apart, so you don't have one eyebrow really short, one really long, or have your eyebrows too far in or too far out. I don't know if you guys can really see it because the light's so harsh, but there are two white lines right there. Now, taking the brush again, I'm gonna go from the same spot on my nose through my pupil and up and out, and that's gonna show me where the arch is gonna be in my eyebrow. And last but not least, I'm gonna see where the end of my eyebrow should be, going from the corner of my nose, through the corner of my eye, and out and up. Now that I have my three dots on each eyebrow where the inside, outside, and arch should be, I'm gonna go ahead and create an eyebrow shape around it using the white pencil. This is basically just like connect the dots here. Do keep in mind, one of my favorite quotes is that Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. They're not exactly alike, and that's okay. But we don't wanna have a super big arched eyebrow over here and one straight across. So this is really just helping to see how the shape should be with the natural shape of your face. Another super great thing about using the white eyeliner is that it's gonna help you from over plucking. I know all too well that when I get in there with my tweezers, I can get a little tweezer happy and way overdo it. And then I look back at it and think, oh God, what did I just do? So 
the rule for this is do not pluck anything within those white borders. I don't care if it looks crazy, I don't care if it's going in an opposite direction, don't pluck it. So I recently just plucked my eyebrows so I don't have a ton of stray hairs, but I'm gonna go in and if there's any hair outside of that white border, we're gonna pluck it. Once I finish plucking, I'm gonna go in with scissors and my spoolie. So brushing the hairs the direction that they grow or I want them to grow, I'm just gonna brush any of those up and see if they go outside of those white lines. You do want to be careful, one little slip could really mess up your eyebrows. <laughs> okay, now that I'm done grooming, I'm gonna remove the white eyeliner just with a little bit of makeup remover. And now we are ready to fill in the eyebrows with some makeup, so let's do it. Gosh, this lighting extra washes out my eyebrows so they look even thinner than they are. Cool. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna take my spoolie and just brush the eyebrows in the direction they should be growing. <laughs> Like I said, my eyebrows grow in crazy directions, so they're really hard to get them to lay and go where I want them to go, so I just try my best. So taking an angled brush and my Ardell Define a Brow powder, I am going to start not all the way in on my eyebrow, but a little bit farther out, because I like this to be thinner and more natural, and I'm gonna start lining the underneath. If you want, you can do the trick with the white again using just brown powder and make all your lines to really be able to follow the shape of what your eyebrow should be. I typically don't do this anymore because I just fill them in every day. I know where they need to be. But to show you guys what that would look like, I'm just gonna do that three line trick again like I did with the white liner using my brown powder. So there's a little dot right there. Then going out where my art should be, make a little dot there and again at the edge where it's going to end. Okay, so now that I have my three lines, I didn't do the line as harsh as I did with the white liner, just because I want this part to be more natural and thin, I don't wanna put a big glob on it right now. Following underneath, like I said, a little bit in, I'm going to work my way in as straight of a line as I can up towards the arch. If you don't have a super steady hand and you don't feel like you can draw the straight line very well, you can start with smaller motions instead of one long one. If you hold your brush closer to the end, you'll have more control over it. And I'm gonna go all the way through my brow and stop at where the top of my arch is. Now I'm gonna do the same thing going down the second half of the eyebrow and I'm gonna start up in the eyebrow. So these are gonna kind of crisscross like an X and follow those hairs down. So I'm gonna continue filling in the second half of my brow, going from the top of the arch down now, and then just filling in. Now from the top, same spot where we started on the bottom, only on the top, I'm gonna make a line going across to the top of the arch. This line, I wanna be really careful that it's not too harsh. The bottom one is nice when it's clean and a clear line, but the top one should look more like hair growing up. So I don't want a distinct sharp line or it's gonna look way too fake. So I'm gonna make very small sweeping motions like you're drawing on little hairs. And then when my hairs start to grow down, I'm gonna angle my brush to mimic those. For the sake of the demonstration, I'm doing one eyebrow at a time, but I normally do each step on either eyebrow to make sure I keep them very symmetrical. Also throughout, I take my spoolie and I just kind of brush along the hairs to break up the product and really keep that natural. When you're doing your eyebrows, you want to use a very small amount of product or you're just going to make it look cakey instead of wispy and hairless. So my hardest struggle I have is with this part of my eyebrow, it kind of swoops down. So instead of it fully filling in up here, it really swoops. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Define a Brow. It's just this little pencil with the brush on the end. Since this is a little heavier, it helps me fill in those spaces that just don't have any hair at all. 
Now that we've got the outside of the brow that's much more distinct and defined, I'm gonna work on the inside where I want those hairs to be a little bit more sparse and blend into my face. I'm actually gonna remove this mark we made. Okay, so taking the brush, I'm just gonna get the smallest amount of product on it and mimic all of those hairs going straight up. And I am eventually gonna take and extend this line to define it, but I'm gonna do it a lot lighter handed than I did the rest of the line. And now, rather than getting any more product, I'm gonna just push the product I have in this line up and spread it out into the upper part of my eyebrow. Okay, and I'm gonna brush again just to break up and blend in any of the makeup. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wax, we are gonna apply this over the brow. I wanna be really careful that I'm not smudging the makeup. This is just gonna hold all of these little hairs in place. And my last step in doing the eyebrows is to clean up around the brow. I normally do my eyebrows before I do my eye makeup so that it's easier to blend. But for the sake of the video, I did my eye makeup first. A lot of people will use concealer for this next step. I prefer to use my foundation because I feel it's not too harsh. I don't like to have a big white line above or below my eyebrow. So I'm just using my standard Makeup Forever HD foundation. Then just using a small concealer brush. I'm gonna put a very very tiny amount of product on the brush and starting from a little bit more in than the center of the brow I am just gonna create a line following and cleaning up underneath the brow This is gonna camouflage any straggly hairs you have that you missed while grooming And it's also gonna define that lower line make it really clean And then since I have such a weird eyebrow over here, I also like to kind of clean up around that edge as well. And since I do my eyebrows immediately after just doing my foundation, this typically blends in really well. This is obviously looking, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks almost like I have a white shape around my eyebrow. It typically would not look like that once I blend it all in with the rest of my makeup. Okay, so wow. I don't normally do them, like I said, one at a time, so I normally don't see the whole before and after process. This looks kind of insane looking at this little straggly sad guy over here. So I am just gonna go and do the same process with the second one. Oh, it's like I'm a whole new person with this hair on my face. All right guys, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial on my grooming and filling in of my eyebrows was helpful to you. If you need any more clarification, as always, leave a comment below and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. If you aren't subscribed, go subscribe for new videos every Monday and random videos whenever else I so choose. <laughs> Bye guys. Beautiful eyebrows, thanks to makeup.